Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to play the Firefly game in Ferdy Burp. And the first thing you need to do is you want to go over to Krabby Dab Shop, which is at Pizzicato Beach, and you want to get one of these two potions, or both of them. Uh, this one, with the round light bulb, is free, so you can always grab that one to test it out first. And as you can see, it is a round light bulb. And because it's free, this one's a little bit harder. It makes the game a little bit more difficult. And if the game is too hard for you, then I recommend that you purchase the easy charge antenna, which is this one, with the long and thin bulb. Let's put that on Ferdy Burp. And you can see it's basically the same thing, it's just a long, thin antenna. I recommend you use this one, especially if you're having a really hard time with this game. It's a pretty hard game. Um, if, you're, if you're hardcore enough to play it with the easy charge antenna, then definitely try that out first. And if it's too hard for you, then you should get this uh, easy charge antenna. It's just worth a few uh, golden poops. Uh, but I recommend it if you're having a hard time. So we will, I'll demonstrate using this easy one. So we'll pick up Freddy Burb and put him on the lily pad and then long press on the lily pad. Now I've already beaten two stages, that's why, uh, that's why Freddy Burb has two little notches glowing on his antenna. There's ten total notches, so the goal is to make them all glow. So you hear Scrabby Dab, he's telling you your antenna has ten markers you've charged two of them. Um, I've, already, I've already beaten two levels so I could show you a more difficult level. Um, and uh, he's telling you ladybugs attract nearby bugs. Get the yellow ones but avoid the red ones. And that is definitely true. So basically the main point of this game is to get the yellow fireflies and avoid all the other bugs. So yellow ladybugs will attract yellow fireflies, so pretty much anything that's yellow is good for you, and it'll charge your antenna. So that was good. I got a, I got a few bad bugs, but that's okay. It's uh, inevitable sometimes. But the point is to get your light bulb nicely charged. Oh, and there we go. So, you just want to keep on doing this, keep on avoiding the bad bugs. Anything that's not yellow you want to avoid. It's pretty easy when you think about it that way. And slowly, your light bulb will start glowing. And near the end of the stage, if your light bulb is glowing strong enough, then you will get to move on to the next stage. And that is why there is an easy charge antenna, because the easy charge antenna is a lot more forgiving. And it will let you move on to the uh, next stage even if you hit a lot of bad bugs. Oh, there, I hit a bunch there. So you just want to keep on finding the path that makes you hit the least amount of bugs. So there's a red ladybug and a yellow one. I obviously want the yellow one because it brings all the good bugs to me. And your light bulb will slowly start glowing. Now, if you make it to the end of a level and you don't get to move on, then the level just starts over again, and it's actually good to just play through it again instead of exiting the game because it makes it a little bit easier to beat each time you play through instead of just leaving the game and coming back later to beat that level. So if there's a really hard level, just play through it a few times. Oh, I got a bunch of bad ones. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Well, that's basically the gist of it, guys. I hope this helps. Just uh, keep on playing this until you have every notch on Ferdy Burp's light bulb antenna glowing, and then you will have a permanently illuminated light bulb, which is something that you need to beat a different puzzle in the game. All right, guys, I hope this helps, and stay tuned for more tutorials and updates. Thank you very much.